Hey coach, I uh, hope you're enjoying the video. Make sure you subscribe and like. We love those. Also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you want to become a better coach in a less than a dollar a day, you can, you can do that. My mentor, my personal email address, I will help you become a better basketball coach. Go over and check it out. Let's head back to the video. All right, welcome to Coaching Youth Hoops. Coach, how are you? I'm all right. Spring yeah. is in the air. It's getting there. Yeah, it's sunny in California today. We it's sunny. Got first of all, first of all, we pre-record some of these. So, but it's sunny every day in California. <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> maybe not by me every day, but somewhere, just about every day. What are you talking just about? Every day, I know. At least good weather, right? We pay for it, though. It's very expensive for that weather that we have. Yes, yes, you oh. pay for it in a lot of ways. Yes, you do. Hopefully California doesn't fall into the ocean. Oh my gosh. You know how many times I hear that from people from Wisconsin? We must That's have learned common thing. We, we must That's have learned that. Thing. It's gonna fall. Yeah. We must have learned years. that from in some history book and because we both went to Wisconsin schools. We must have yeah. learned that in some it had to be, right? Something. Somebody the way the somewhere. plates work and yeah, it's at the, the end it's gonna yes. fall. Off. Yeah. So and we get earthquakes, of course. So yeah. Yeah. Never experienced an earthquake, have you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nothing too large like they had in 89, but, I mean, there's definitely, like, oh, is this, how long is this one going to last? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Rattles have you the had house. It, have things fall off? Shelves? And... Uh, no, not that big. Not going to wood. So, yeah. Nothing. Are you How far are you from a fault line? Uh... 30 minutes? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, does, your, does your homeowner's insurance cover that? Oh, uh, homeowner's insurance in California? What? Do you have that? You have that, right? Yeah. They, uh, uh, anyway, we won't go into this subject. Okay. It's a sore subject for Californians right now because they've everybody's pulling out of California uh, home insurance. One has to do with the Fed, it has to do with the state government, but two also has to do with the fires that we've had for the last number of years uh, during the drought. So they're yeah. all pulling out. It's same um, like Florida, too. In Florida, is that, oh, is that yeah. the same thing? Yeah, with the hurricanes and stuff. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, we talk about <laughs> everything at Coaching Youth Hoops. This is That's us, right. Bill and I, just catching up when we talk to each other. Yeah what this is it's anyway. all my california coaches listening to this are like they're not in their heads and everybody else is like what come on guys what get to the subject about? get, get to the subject. subject all right we're gonna talk this is a this is a special t subject to me because i did this with my son and this is about mm -hmm. three point shooting at the youth level yeah and guess what they all want to do shoot threes shoot threes first and thing I, you do in the gym, am, second yeah. grade on up they're trying to shoot threes Oof. right yep yeah. i didn't let my son shoot a three until he was in middle school so what fifth sixth grade you're talking sixth about grade, sixth grade sixth grade sixth grade yeah yeah um and why is that because he wasn't strong enough and i didn't want yeah. to mess his form and i still had to fix mm -hmm. and i still had to fix his form between ninth and tenth grade because he's still mm -hmm. a little bit of a it was a little bit of a show a push than, yes. oh, interesting yeah huh. um so here yeah here's the issue with here's the issue with three pointers mm -hmm. is it's distance, strength, and form, and they don't have the strength to get it to a 10-foot hoop. It'd be like you and I shooting on a, like, I did the math. It's like an 18-foot hoop. Right. It'd be like you and I shooting on an 18-foot hoop. Like, I can't get that. I mean, I got to, like, because I got to get it yeah, up. you really got to shove, right. So, yeah. all of a sudden, it's, if, you're, if you're fine with that, you're going to have to change the form at some point, or it's going to be horrible when they're in third grade and they're trying to shoot the reads. Um, okay, here's a challenge question for you, though. With proper form, proper form, we have proper form. Yep. Okay, I'm shooting with my legs. I'm lifting, you know. Yep. Uh, they got there aren't their many fifth graders that can do that. But it's possible. Yep, and it's possible for me to win Powerball, too. No, uh... <laughs> It's, it is possible. Those are what we would refer to statistically as outliers. Yeah. 
there aren't many third graders that can do proper form from that distance. No. They have proper form inside, but pushing it ball that don't, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, but I think so there might be to... a fine line between third and fifth, but I don't I I mean we could probably count on one hand in the state of Wisconsin the number of fifth graders that have perfect form, third graders that have perfect form from three point line. I actually played against a, a player. Uh, one of the last tournaments, fifth grade girl hit two threes with, I was, you can imagine, I'm a, I mean, one of my yeah. specialties is, is shooting form. Right. And I spent, right. And I was, my mouth was open. She had perfect form from the three point. Yeah. Line. And you know why your mouth was open? Because it was like yeah. seeing a unicorn. It was right. an outlier. It was something that wasn't normal. It was yeah, like, it was oh my gosh perfect caitlin yeah. clark caitlin clarkson oh, she's probably i'm sure she was shooting three I'm sure she was years. but she's not normal yeah. lebron yeah. was probably dunking in fourth grade yeah, yeah. Giannis was probably i mean okay yes yeah and it might be your son or daughter that you're listening but mm -hmm. statistically speaking probably not well, let's talk about when do you think that they're developed enough where, okay, now this is so the here's year what here's that we what should here, start. So shooting-wise, I you should just slowly move them out. Mm -hmm. Like, so it's almost like getting a driver's license. Okay, you can, let's shoot six-footers. Let me watch your form. Okay, you can shoot any six-footer you get because your form looks yeah. good. And then you move them slowly out until they get to the mm -hmm. three-point line um yeah it's getting you know when can you pass the test to do yeah. it that's my opinion um you know what i found too coach is crazy the magic three-point line so imagine the three-point line and you have your heels on the inside uh touching the three-point line though so the back of your right. heel is touching the three-point line okay i can shoot and i can this is you know me teaching my kids right i can shoot and make shots from there then I step over the three-point line, right? That's a psychological thing where I'm like, oh, now I'm at the three-point line and my shot is all wonky and I can't hit anything. So it's overcoming that, uh, that magical three-point line barrier, psychological barrier as well. Yeah, And your it's... wife can probably speak to the psychology part of that. There is, there is. It's like the worst yeah. shot in bat. What is that? The worst shot in basketball? That middle. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The one when you're yeah, the like long a, two. The long uh, two. Yeah, but yeah, you know, again, obviously player specific. You got to know your players. But if we're talking about a general rule, yeah, you can start practice it's fifth grade for boys, sixth grade for girls. Again, general rule, right? Right. I don't well, think I don't, I'm throwing that out there. Yeah, I don't think there's a perfect, you know, I, it's like a perfect uh, answer to this. Um, well, there is in the sense of if they're if they're in third and fourth grade, and they're you're forcing them to jack threes, you're threes. gonna have a lot of work to do. A lot when of they work. get older. A lot, and that's and that's the issue. Is like, is it important yeah. to win that that third grade game and on a Tuesday and whatever, you know, or right. is it more important to work on form? I know. I think the form is. Yeah. Yeah. Much more important. Um, all right. Anything else coach? No, uh, just keep the kids in and start work, you know, work on form. I love your solution. Start them up close, work them, work them back. Um, and if they, you know, if they're progressing, then just keep on going. Yeah. We got some great stuff in coaching youth hoops.com too, for shooting and, all sorts of stuff. Drills and drills and all that stuff. So go over and check out coaching All right, coach. Yeah. Till next time. All right, till next time. Thanks for watching, coach. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on. But you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.